my name is John Marine, and you're watching John Marine Tube, my YouTube channel. Coming to you from Houston, Texas, USA, my hometown and my home state. Please visit youtube.com slash John Marine Tube to see more of my videos. Now you may remember I did a speculation video for the World Rally Championship in Gran Turismo 5. This time I want to talk about that other series that was featured in the GT5 trailer from this year's E3, NASCAR. And before I begin, I just want to say that for those of you who are squeamish about NASCAR being featured in GT5, NASCAR is as legitimate of a motorsport as a World Rally Championship, as Formula One, as DTM, as Super GT, as the V8 Supercar Series, and that sort of thing. So don't be squeamish just because it's mostly just turn left, crashing all the time more than racing. I can tell you that NASCAR is a legitimate motorsport, and there's an exact science to racing a stock car around a course, whether it's an oval or a road course. So don't be squeamish or don't be skeptical if you see NASCAR being featured for GT5. Now on to the main point of this video. First of all, I want to offer my speculative comments. For one thing, one of my concerns is to what extent? To what extent is the NASCAR exp excuse me? To what experience will the NASCAR experience be featured for Gran Turismo 5? Are we going to see like the Taste for the Cup format? Are we going to see Nationwide and Camping World Truck Series? Are we going to see maybe NASCAR Modifieds? A garden variety of ovals? And I'm talking about the experience right out of the box when you buy the game, when you buy the eventual final build of GT5. To what extent is everything going to be featured? And while I don't play the race, the, the nationality card much, or the, the race card, what is basically PD's, PD, Polyphony Digital, a Japanese company, how, would, how do they interpret NASCAR and how they're going to convey it to the United States, Japan, and the rest of the world. It's something I'm kind of concerned about as far as trying to make NASCAR relevant and fun for Gran Turismo 5. And what kind of races and or venues are we going to be looking at? Are we going to be looking at the Daytona 500 at the Daytona International Super Speedway or Daytona International Speedway? The Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte Motor Speedway, which is nowadays Lowe's Motor Speedway. Could we possibly see the Brickyard 400, even though the, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway was featured in the E3 trailer? And could we possibly see other big-time events like the Southern 500, which is raced at Darlington? And I think if NASCAR is going to have a real impact in, in Gran Turismo, you got to have at least one of four different kinds of racing venues. Short track, speedway, super speedway and or restrictor plate racing, and road courses. And speaking of road courses, do you include courses like Infineon Raceway, which I've always known as Sears Point? Do you include Watkins Glen? Do you include other road courses that NASCAR are raced on, such as Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve, Autodromo de Manos Rodriguez, and what the, the truck series used to race at Heartland Park Topeka. They also used to race at Portland International Raceway. But the trucks are too scared to race road courses these days. And speaking that this is Gran Turismo, that the Gran Turismo series, and how they want to encompass history of things, could we possibly see a number of classic racing machines, such as the classic number three good red Chevrolet, which was raced by the late great Dale Earnhardt Sr.? Could we possibly see some of Richard Petty's rides? Could we possibly see machines like, uh, like some of the winged warriors of the 1970s? Oh, one more thing about the tracks. I forgot to mention Talladega, which is also a very good and very popular course for NASCAR. So how far are they going to go with that? That remains to be seen. 
Now, what about the on-track action and in the pit action? Are we going to be looking at actual rules, like you can only have so many people over the wall, or are we going to see things like all kinds of calamity with damage and such? How far is PD willing to take the damage for, for NASCAR? It's these things and more that concerns me most about NASCAR's inclusion in Gran Turismo 5. So as I've said before, if you're skeptical about NASCAR for Gran Turismo 5, don't be. NASCAR is as legitimate of a motorsport as any other, be it the World Rally Championship, Formula One, sports car racing, the V8 Supercar Series, DTM, and that sort of thing. One thing to bear in mind is that NASCAR is a legitimate motorsport. You may not like it mostly because it's just turn left racing with some here and there road course racing. We're not even sure if we're going to see like Chase for the Cup or something. But as far as out the box performance, Polyphony Digital really has to deliver and be on all of its P's and Q's to make the most of the NASCAR experience for Gran Turismo 5. Now, this isn't the first time some kind of NASCAR element has been featured in the game, because if you remember for Gran Turismo 2, when you give a racing modification to the Ford Taurus SHO, you get either a generic looking stock car, or you can, or if you're lucky, you might get a rendition of the Valvoline Ford Taurus raced by Mark Merton in 1998 and 1999. So chances are, however NASCAR ends up being on Gran Turismo 5, depends solely on Polyphony Digital's efforts. Polyphony Digital may even look to fans of NASCAR to offer their input as to how to make this thing stand out and how to make the experience every bit of enjoyable as any other series, including the World Rally Championship. Then, and only till then, could we possibly see NASCAR really make a huge splash in its debut. If you have questions or comments, please be sure to send me comments below. I even take video responses if you have any. My name is John Marine. Thank you for watching this video. Please take care of yourselves. Love and peace. Take care. Subscribe, comment, and rate, but don't hate, but you already know that.